you. Lewis, it's me, Mr. Covers. Quick, get in my t submarine time machine. George Washington, I'm gonna need your help. Definitely a ball. Benjamin Franklin was born in Boston on January 17, 1706. He was the tenth son of soap maker Josiah Franklin. Benjamin's mother was Abiah Folger, the second wife of Josiah. In all, Josiah would father 17 children. Josiah intended for Benjamin. Lewis, it's me, Mr. Cuppers. I came back from retirement just so I could make this video actually funny. Wow, thanks, Mr. Cuppers. No problem, kid. So I hear we're talking about my old friend, Benjamin Franklin, today. Yep, that's right, Mr. Cuppers. I'd ask if we could take your submarine time machine again, but it blew up last time. Not a problem, Lewis. I asked Mr. Howard for a little bit of help, and we built a new one that's even better. All right, let's get moving so we can get some actual information in this report. Like you cut, G. Ben, my old friend, there's no time to explain. You've got to tell me everything about your life in eight minutes, because we already spent two minutes doing this intro. Anything for you, Cuppers, old sport? All right, so the whole story starts back in Boston, January 17th, 1706, when my dad, Josiah Franklin, and my mom, Abaya Franklin, got together, and then my mom was like, hey, yo, Josiah, watch this. Then, boom, that's when I pop out, and I'm like, it's time to get to work. So throughout my teenage years, I get to work for my brother James in his print shop and his newspaper, The New England Courant. I'm having to compose pamphlets and set types on printer, which sucks by the way, and then after doing all that, I'd go into the streets and sell the products. Eventually, I wanted to write for the paper, but I knew James wouldn't let me. So I wrote under the pen name of Silence Do Good, and I wrote these dope letters about world issues, particularly the issue of how women were being treated. Eventually, I did reveal myself though after 14 letters or so. And spoiler alert, James wasn't too hype about it. So eventually, James leaves for a bit, and I run the paper by myself. But when he gets back, he's all mad about me running it. So at this point, I'm like, bro, I did all the work, and you still out here lacking? I'm out of here. But running off in the 1700s is not as dope as it sounds. In fact, it's actually illegal. So I work my way around New York and New Jersey until I finally end up in Philadelphia. And I got one shilling to my name at this point. And you know what I spent that on? A roll best chilling I ever spent. So there I am, it's October 6th, 1723, I got no money, just ate my roll so I don't have that anymore, I'm muddy, I'm dirty, it's pretty bad. But that's when I met her, Deborah Road, my future wife. Pretty romantic, right? Did you know that? Franklin created numerous life-changing inventions, from bifocals to stoves to even streetlights. But can you guess how many of those he patented? I'll give you a second to think of a number. Alright, you ready? Zero. Bruh. He patented none of his inventions. He said it was against his belief system. Alright, thanks for the help, Benjamin. I'll take it from here. Now, our boy Benji here has got quite a lot of things done in his life. All of which are extremely important, and many of which still impact our lives today. And trying to fit all that in one video while explaining it all would be pretty tough. So, I had the bright idea of coming up with a rap so I could touch on all of this stuff really quick and then come back to the big stuff later. So, yeah, probably the worst idea I've had yet. Hey, yo, cuppers, drop that beat. Wait. Is this comics? A boy Big Ben did a lot in his time, so I'll just speak it all to you in the way of a rhyme. So he's a writer, a printer, a politician too, philosopher, politician, Freemason, ooh. Postmaster, inventor, and civic activist, diplomat, statesman, scientist, and humorist. Now that's just the start of his many different titles, but let's get to inventions. Yet a kind of vital. Your boy made bifocals so y'all could stop the hate on his own phonetic alphabet he made in 68. 
1768 if you want to get exact. Now let's talk politics. Get that social contract. He's a freaking founding father. Nothing rhymes with bother. He's out of the eight founding fathers who couldn't be bothered. Benjamin's the only one that signed all four documents the U.S. used to gain independence. Kind of wild. Yeah. <clears throat> I'll jump back in. I'll jump back in. He helped out Pennsylvania and did more than plenty with his fire department librarian for university. And we haven't even talked about his great writer's career, so I'll navigate through it like a celestial sphere. Pennsylvania's Gazette, Poor Richard's Almanac, just to name a few if you've ever heard of that. Ambassador to France, Toulet C'est Bleu, also to Sweden, 1782. Let's not forget when he crossed that great sea, hoping out in London, repping the first 13 colonies. But now let's back up a step before we go all the way, and let's talk about that kite on that great stormy day. This all leads to modern day propinquity because my boy discovered electricity. Because when that lightning hit and he all but ducked, he stopped and yelled out, Oh no, I'm screwed! You like that one? Shout out Mr. Howard. Love the project idea. Now you'd think a guy like this would have had a lot of school, but when it came to all that, nah, he's way too cool. Only two years was spent in formal education, and then years later, he'd be speaking federalization. So you go, that's your boy, Benjamin Franklin, kind of an important figure of history. Like, I mean, he was a crucial member in the Founding Fathers, and when the discover when he made that discovery of the relationship between lightning and electricity, like, this dude is literally responsible for, like, most of the stuff in Mr. Howard's room. That's wild. Like, America? Ever heard of it? Did you know that? So you, you guys remember Mozart, Beethoven? Yeah, Franklin made an instrument called the glass harmonica, and Mozart and Beethoven loved it. In fact, they even composed some music for it. This is one of Mozart's pieces played on a glass harmonica. Franklin once said that he thought the glass harmonica was his favorite invention. Anyway, yeah, he's done quite a lot of stuff, so just picking one or two things is a bit difficult. But if I had to choose, which I kind of do, I mean, being a founding father is pretty wild. He represented colonies in England. He invented and discovered so many crucial things vital to everyday modern society. He even made the postal system. And without him, the United States would be greatly changed. The relationship he created with France also would be greatly changed. And to think that it all started back when he was an uneducated 17-year-old with nothing but his clothes and a roll. Benjamin's impact on the era of modern history is kind of like the first Back to the Future. If you were to go back and take Benjamin out of the equation, then you would not have the same future at all. He's not usually one of the first people you think of when you think of changes in modern history, but when you really stop and think about it, he played crucial roles in the development of the US, modern society, and even the world. The era of modern history is the time period where we really start to see modern day society form to what we are used to. So in that aspect, Franklin is a massive key player in this. When Franklin died on April 17, 1790, the French National Assembly declared a day of mourning. He was considered a Renaissance man, and one of its members, Mirabeau, believed that Franklin was able to restrain thunderbolts and tyrants. Well, Mr. Cuppers, we've done it again. We've made a ridiculously complicated video for a project that probably could have taken a tenth of the amount of time it took to make the video. Glad I can help, Lewis. You gotta stop dragging me into this stuff, though. I'll see you later. See you, Mr. Covers. Well, thanks for watching this video, and I hope you learned a thing or two about Benjamin Franklin. I know I sure did. And if you liked the video, maybe consider liking and subscribing. That's always a good thing. Make sure you pay your taxes. Lewis, I made a mistake. What, what, what are you talking about? When I time traveled, I made a huge mistake in my calculations, and I created a rip in space time, and now every mainstream time travel device is coming for us. We need to go where they'll never find us. My submarine. Oh, okay. Well, it looks like I gotta go. Thanks for watching.